guests and welcome to a mystical, cozy and hopefully educational space. I have been wanting to create this corner of the internet for a while now, but to be honest, I wasn't sure how to put myself out here and whether what I can offer would be of any use or fun to others. If it is not fun or helpful, what's the purpose of this thing I expect others to watch? <laughs> that was the issue I was struggling with. Now, what is it that I can offer to the world? Yeah, that's the existential philosophical moment and I'm frankly all about the big questions. I'm a cultural anthropologist and an art historian as well, so I kind of naturally gravitate towards, let's say, different topics such as our existence as human beings, the mysteries of life and obviously the arts and old stories, those tools that we use to process and express what is our humanity. In our nature. Uh, originally I had a plan that I would be making educational content only, using my Tumblr account as a starting point and eventually creating an actual blog site where I would be writing about interesting things from folklore, from the world of art history and about magic and mysteries and how all of those topics manifest in the media, in movies, in video games, in the visual arts. But the truth is, writing is not my only passion. Not my only passion. And also, I kind of think there's a lot of blogs and accounts on social media that deal with the arts, magic and folklore that even I can sometimes feel a bit fed up with my Instagram feed being full of gothic art and, I don't know, uh, Solomonic sigils <laughs> I've seen a billion times already. And um, for me personally, it's always about something new or something, something different. I'm always asking myself, no matter what I'm about to do, in which way can I bring myself into this? How do I make this thing into something of personal value? Into something that could reflect my values and allow me to share all that I have learned? Because only then, I believe, does this something acquire its power and it can offer its magic to others. That's why I let go of the idea of writing a blog on art magic folklore as I am not sure how I would be able to offer some more of my own truth that way. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, that does not mean I will not be writing about things I find interesting on my social media anymore. You're more than free to follow me on Tumblr, if you wish to do that. It's just that I like to... I'd like to explore other mediums as well, and not be focused on writing only. Now, what I have decided is that I would bring back one of my oldest passions, back from the grave, and that is video making. I find the video format to be a very interesting and very flexible medium as you can really just do what you want with it. At the beginning I was again very drawn to the idea of making content that is strictly educational but dropped it in the end as the reason I moved away from writing for a bit is mostly because of this lack of flexibility so to say and too much repetition in a way and if you do follow some blogs and accounts uh, on the internet that deal with magic, folklore and uh, similar topics 
you're likely aware that they can sometimes feel a bit repetitive when it comes to the content they cover. And let me be clear, that's completely understandable. Don't think for a second that I'm criticizing those accounts, as there are literally only so many topics you could introduce people to when it comes to, you know, magical practice, creatures and beings of folklore and, I don't know, Renaissance art, for example. I don't see myself... It's just that I don't see myself as one such social media occult scholar, as I feel like that's a niche that is too confining for me. I just don't really vibe, it, vibe with it, to be honest. So, to get back to what I was trying to say, I dropped the idea of making strictly educational content because I would be trapping myself into that which I initially wanted to move away from. Now, what is it that I like to be doing? Well, I myself enjoy watching different types of videos. I do love educational ones. But I also really enjoy watching interesting vlogs, especially those that, let's say, deal with finding magic in everyday life, as well as slow living, uh, aesthetically pleasant videos on, on organization, creative journaling, that are full of interesting ways to document and enjoy life, which are some of the things that I'm just always after. Therefore, I have decided to try and combine all of those ways of expression in video format, as I find them interesting, and figuring out how that will work seems very exciting to me. So, if you feel like listening to interesting stories about magical phenomena, occult topics in popular media, or if you'd like to learn of some let's say, new, is inspiring mystical art as you watch me create journal spreads on famous cryptids and go for long walks in pursuits of sunsets. I invite you to join me. If that is not your cup of tea, that's okay. Of course, I'm not forcing you to watch my videos. This is YouTube and you're free to watch the content that you love. So... Yeah, uh, that would be it for this part uh, of the video. I think I'm about to show some more little bits of my life this week in the upcoming clips. And I will see you in the next video.